Hello, I'm Garrett, and this is Carly, and about 15 years ago, we built a catamaran. It took us about two years, but it was all worth it. We went on a long two-year trip. We took our boat from Vancouver down to Cabo San Lucas in Mexico, sailed around Mexico for a year and a half, enjoyed the beautiful waters, the beautiful scenery, and then we took the boat and sailed over to Hawaii, where we spent three months cruising the islands. And then we sailed back to our home in Vancouver. It was a great trip, but the only problem was is that we always had to go outside from our main cabin into the hulls. It got a little tiresome in all the rain, so we decided to make some big modifications. Here's the story. I don't know about this, Garrett. Look at this hull. Look at this. It looks like you know, when you did it this morning, and I was working inside, I thought, this is going to take a year, not seven more weeks. I can't quite see it. On February 24th, we took Lightwave out of the water and put it up on blocks in the boatyard. We made big dollies to hold the aft parts of the hull, and then we drew a big black line around the whole boat, and I got out my sawzall and got ready to work. This is, this is the movie which proves I'm certifiable. We're actually going to cut the boat in half today. Everybody should do this once in their life, you know. Are you sure you want to do this, Garrett? I think let's do the first cut here. All right, we'll see. I'm, get, I'm getting a little nervous. Wow, are you sure, honey? Oh. Hey. All right. So where are the lines? This, this is the line here. Oh my goodness. Okay, Pat. It's now or never. Uh oh. Sorry, lightweight. And uh, now we have about a half inch gap, and so it's free. And so now I'm going to go up into the cockpit and try and push it backwards and try and separate it. Ooh. Hi, Carly. Hi there. What do you think? Well, this is where I'm going to go swimming, right? Really yeah. Easily so you can just boat. come in and then you can use the head right here, okay. or you can just go. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I know it doesn't look like much now. It doesn't look like anything right now. Oh my gosh, uh, Garrett. Is, um, when we're out there, you know, we, want, we don't have to dive off the end of the boat. We can just come out the door and just dive straight in. Yeah. So I'm, I don't even think I'm going to fill this in. The only thing is it'll be hard keeping the back part of the boat with the motor on it connected to the front part of the boat. Yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> See, we're almost done. See, all I'm going to do is just, you know, fill in, <laughs> fill, fill in these pieces, and uh, we're ready to go. Oh, Garrett. So, uh, talk. Oh, if, my gosh. If you, see, you know, there's just a little gap, and you just fill that in. So you just fill this in, and then it should be okay. This here is going to be the passageway from hull to hull. So you're in the uh, port hull port right hull. now. And so you're going to go up through here, and then this bulkhead here is going to be sliced off and joined onto here. So the back of the... We are at uh, week, uh, end of week one. The boat's been cut in half for about a week now. And uh, we're sort of working on the, uh, the, the mold to fill in the space. So this kind of redefines like a through hull. Like, like that's a through hull there on that boat. See that's a through hull? You see it on the boat there? See, that's a through hull. But this is a, a real through hull. Because you can pass right through the hull and back again. So, uh, okay, well, uh, uh, here's the mold in the uh, port side hull, and we've done uh, the bottom and the side, and this is what we'll be glassing up uh, on Tuesday. So it's starting to take shape. There's a bit more work to do, but uh, 
You know, uh, you only cut your boat in half once. Maybe the mixing twice. station. <laughs> Carly's mixing a batch number two. Two today. for today. Two today. How many did you do the other days? Uh, hmm, 20, 28, 17, and 15. Wow. So you've gone to almost that. my batch. So you've gone to almost this full container so far today, in the last two days. The big one in the back, in the background. Gone. Putting in wow. inside nice. layers of, uh, of uh, biaxial, and uh, you sort of pre-wet the material, the uh, side of the boat out, and then you stick this big contraption on. So and is that 1708? This is, no, this is straight 1700. So it's just a straight biaxial Oh, we cloth. put the 1708 on last night. Yeah, that's right. It's not all work in the boatyard. Oh, these daffodils smell so nice. It's a beautiful boatyard. I love it. Time to go work on the boats. Time to go. Metal groove roller, and we go over the uh, the fiberglass, and this gets out all the air bubbles. Because you got to make sure this is really strong. Because if this breaks, the boat's going to fall in half, <laughs> two parts. And uh, Carly doesn't want that. She wants the boat to stay together. So this is really important. So hey there, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How many batches have you done today, Carly? Um, this would be 17 now. 17, wow. Okay, so uh, we've taken off the, uh, the top half of the mold, and so now we're going to take off the bottom part. And, uh, okay, watch out here. One hull. Just, oh, you tired, honey? I'm really tired. So this has been. This is this is the last side. I don't four know, hours at the office and eight, oh. eight hours here. Oh, it doesn't look away. like a boat. Oh yo yo. Oh, it's a big holes. Lots of big holes everywhere. Yeah, what are you is, measuring for? We're measuring how we're going to cut off the back of the cutting <laughs> oh, cabin. No. Oh, sweetie. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. Do you want to mark that? It's all okay. What do you think, Carly? I'm worried. <laughs> really worried? I think so. Okay. Better. Take a deep breath. Happy thoughts. <laughs> well, it looks like the electrical's all ready to install, Carly. What do you think? Oh my goodness. It's just a couple wires I just got to attach up, and I think if I label it, maybe that'll make just it easier. Cutting a little bit more oh, here. Brother. Okay. Is that it? No, just keep going. No turning back. This is no turning back. So we've now detached the back part of the boat. And what was it you said, Ross? The boat is held together by styrofoam. <laughs> okay, so just... So I don't know if I could... Okay, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Ah. Okay. Ah. Tilt her back. Tilt the back. Get it into position. It's about ready about there, right, Ross? So now the cutty cutty back has been cut off, and it shows you where the walkway is going to be. And Inside. Uh, I thought this is going to take a year, not seven more weeks. I can't quite see it. You think you're going to do it? Well. I think so, you know, just a little bit every day. Uh, uh, maybe I'll get... Well, uh, 13, and uh, we've, uh, as you saw last week, we cut off the uh, back of the cutty cabin, much to uh, Carly's chagrin, and, but we've now attached it with these big bulkheads to the rest of the bolt. And so that's given us uh, three feet extra in there, and two feet extra in the cockpit. 
And to prevent people falling through the cockpit into the water, what we're going to do now is we're going to fill this in with a whole bunch of pieces. And these beams will go underneath the, the cockpit. So the cockpit's bigger, we want to make but it stronger. The, how are those beams made? Let's see. They're they look made out pretty of, uh, sturdy. Uh, sturdy, they're made out of one by, one by two, one by three fur, and then they're wrapped in glass cloth. So they're like a... Uh, a little U-beam, yes. A U-beam. U-beam. And so later, we're gonna, and we've glued in all our new beams and our little uh, 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 joiner pieces. And so this here, this piece here is the uh, new <coughs> co cockpit extension. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to carefully lift this up, put it all over all this glue, and press it in and screw it in. And hopefully tomorrow it will all be set and we can dance here tomorrow. So Another hard day at the boatyard, isn't it, Carly? Oh, yeah. Pieces <laughs> that we're now going to glue into the boat to uh, fill in the gap between the uh, main cabin and the back wall which we cut off. And what, did you, what are these pieces made out of? They're all made out of fur and uh, it's taken four days to cut them. Uh, almost completed two months and we have about two more months to go before we launch. And so we now have uh, floors in here, our new floors. You're in the cutty cabin. In the cutty right? cabin. And we have a roof which we have to glue in tonight. And we have to extend it obviously about three, three feet. And uh, this over here. And that's... Well, you know, that's the thing I like about our, our new boat, Carly, is it's, it's much more open. Before it felt always so closed in. But now with all this openness, there's no lack of ventilation. Might even be too much ventilation when you think about it. But uh, probably when it's raining too, it'll all be a problem. Probably. Well, said big changes. Big changes. So, Garrett's almost sanded out now. Lots of sanding and fairing. No more sanding. Too much dust. My arms are weak. <laughs> I can't even lift this up anymore. <laughs> I'm saying hello because my arms are so tired. <laughs> I'm dusty and I'm hot and I want to go sailing. Yeah. It's uh, 48 hours to launching. We finally put the first coat of our new yellow paint on the boat. It's a little bit lighter tone. It's oh, called Dad. Fighting Lady. It's 9.30. Two days to go. This is to make sure we don't fall through, right? So what do you think, Carly? I think it's great. It's so much better than it has been before, than it was lots before. Lots and lots of room for cooking. Sinks a long way from the wall. Big deep sink. Lots of room. More counter space than we have at home. And we can get down into the halls and we don't have to freeze getting out into the rain and the snow. Wow. So would you do, do it again? No. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed our movie. For more catamaran sailing, boat building, and cruising story adventures, please visit our website at lightwave99.com. Happy sailing! Hi guys! Hi guys.